What's up guys, Andres back at it again. Hope you guys are having a great day. Everybody's staying safe, everybody's staying healthy. Today we got another great video for this MDX right here. I love it. It's my ride, man, I love my car. Anyway, got another great video. I'm going to do the back speakers. The back door speakers are stock, they're still stock ones. And I wanna change out both of them. So right now I have one out because the other one's in there. And here it is. Like I've told you guys before, I'm using a Rocker Rockford PPS 4-6 great speaker, man. Look at this magnet. Amazing. Anyway, I love the speaker. Uh, great speaker. It's about 80 bucks, 70, 80 bucks, depending on where you get it from. Sometimes you can even find people who have not used them and they just have them laid around. Um, they just gotta get rid of them, so. You can get a part of deal, 50, 60 bucks, brand new. Um, in this case, I actually bought this one off of eBay, brand new, never installed, and it cost me 50 bucks. So I'm happy about that. As a father saving money, that's a big thing. Um, so the parts that I'm going to use, um, I already have my wires ran, but I do need to splice them. So I got these, this is the one where radio shackles around. Um, damn, I'm old. Anyway, uh, I picked it, picked up these, just gonna use them to, uh, the strip the uh, rubber off of the cable. This way you connect to the speaker. The, speak, the cables are already ran in there. I ran up from the back to the door. They're all hidden. I'm going to need a screwdriver to unbolt the uh, door panel. A little clip here. Now there's a little clip by the door and I'll show you when we get there. You're gonna need one of these. If you can, if not, maybe the screwdriver, but I brought that just in case. All right, so let's get started. All right, so we're back at it. And this is what the one thing you want to do right here. See, there's a clip right here. Yeah, it's kind of, see if we can zoom in on that. Damn, there you go. By the way, I stopped using my phone. I'm actually using a Canon M50 now. This camera is great. I love it. Beautiful purchase. Perfect for the vlogs. Helps you guys see better because my camera sucked on my phone. Don't judge me, I don't have an iPhone, all right? Metro PCS all the way, baby. Damn, there you go, look at that. Woo wee! And that's it, man. Now, this tool, where did I pick up this tool from? Uh, I actually forgot where I picked up this tool from. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is actually used to pick up old rings and things like that when you have inside. Um, there was a time, focus, there was a time that I needed to replace my um, power steering pump and the O-rings needed to be come out. So they were easy, but you know, I just wanted to make it easier on myself and pick these up. It comes in a set like four. Uh, I'm going to say they're O-ring removers, <laughs> whatever, I don't know. And there you go. All right, so there's one, two screws right here. Then there are screws behind here. Now this is obviously where it becomes a little bit more. Um, I don't have my little prying tool, but again, I'm going to use this and just lightly push in on it. There we go. Don't make me look bad in front of the guys, man. Or the girls, you know. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I pause the camera because it's just making me look bad, so. There you go. Just gonna clip this off. All right, bam. Just a little bit of force comes out it's clips all right if one of these comes out it's more than likely just in there so you got one two you got three in there and then you got four down there and then this door just slightly pulls it out and lift up so you're gonna have to pull off from the bottom lift up and put it to the side Okay, <laughs> all right, so I have removed all the screws and here it is. I'm going to lift this panel up. All right, grab it from there. Damn, look at that, damn. All right, and there is our speaker. Let's put this to the side. And be very careful, very gentle. You don't want to break anything. You don't need to be broken. All right, so what we're gonna do we are more than likely going to disconnect this. Well, let's see. We might not even have to do all that. 
Yeah, we do. Okay. Or, aha! Bam! There you go. We will. There you go. All right, cool. Hey, works. So we're gonna be removing this speaker right here. All right. The wires already ran in there. <laughs> That's the NYPD and the fire department was that before. But anyway, all right. The so the wires were already ran through there. Not that much of a problem, but I did have to create some kind of a snake to run it through. Yeah, this is filthy. Anyway, um, I have to run a snake to run it through right here. Uh, took out this cup right here, took it out. I put some oil in there to just run it through this way it wouldn't get stuck. Uh, sometimes the, the cables, they get stuck and then they rip off the snake. Just a nightmare, so just uh, put some oil or grease in there. And that's that. All right, so we're gonna remove, obviously. One, two, three screws. This speaker, as you can see, it's good. There's nothing wrong with it. So I'm gonna keep it. I'm just gonna keep it uh, in a safe place in case I ever do get rid of the car. Hey, I got a speaker to get rid of. So I'm not gonna not gonna turn in my speakers that cost me some money. So I'm just gonna put these back on, save myself some money. Uh, in the future, I'm gonna use it somewhere else. All right, let's do a comparison real quick. All right, let's do a comparison. This speaker to the stock OEM speaker from the MDX. Now this is on the base model. I don't know if this comes in the, um, the package models, but this is the base model. Look at that. Look at that little itty bitty magnet. And now we have this behemoth. Look at that. That is complete difference. I'm excited, man. So, but I'm definitely gonna keep this because it's still a good speaker. I'm just gonna keep it around. All right, so like I said before, I ran my cables in here. This is the cable. Fairly basic cable. I ran it through there and I taped it up. So I'm gonna remove that tape. So now what I have to do so I have to focus, focus. Hmm. But anyway, um, once it decides to focus, I have to splice this. Well, really just rip off the um, rubber, the plastic on here. And as you can see, my hands are a bit on the greasy side and that's from the oil and the tape. All right, so. Got my little handy dandy clip. All right, so we got that done. However, before I put that on there, I'm actually gonna install this. This is a Stinger Roadkill Fast Rates. Cool, anyway, uh, they reduce the, the they reduce the panel vibration, so it kind of works like Dynamat. Um, that's what it's called, I think it is. Anyway, uh, that's, it kind of works like that, it's foaming. I'm gonna probably put it around here too. And I'm still gonna use these uh, holes right here. I'm just obviously not gonna use those screws. But we're gonna install this. There is this center pad right here, which I will remove and show you guys. Okay, so there's three rings. There's one, two, and three. All right, this goes inside, All right, right there. But I am actually going to just clean up in there real quick. It's kind of dirty. Okay, that's what I did here. Do not mind that music in the background. I unfortunately live next door to a bank that has a drive through ATM. Um, it was only temporary, folks, you know? I got bigger dreams, I'm gonna buy a bigger house. All right, so you can see what I did here. I just wrapped this um, this foam around it. Obviously made it look good. It almost looks stock, to be honest with you. Um, ooh, that's disgusting, let me clean that up. So basically, what's here is here. It's gonna make it sound good. Um, I'm excited, and that's that. All right, so we put back on our door. 
we got our screws on there right there we're gonna put our little cool little spark thing on don't drop that and then we're gonna put a little door clip back on it's like challenging I mean I'm a, I got big hands and whatnot so it's a little bit challenging for me but you know I get it done It'll probably take me like three years to get it done though. Let me see. This thing making it look bad, man. Alright, so the trick to that is go in and then push down first here and then he can go up there. Alright, that's the cool trick to it. Alright. That's that. Speaker is in, the door panel is back on. I am happy. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Please like and subscribe if you want to. If not, hey, look, I hope this helped you out. Um, I am not a very good instructor, but as time goes on, I'll get better at it. All right, guys, be safe, stay healthy. Love all you guys. Thanks.